what's up everyone <laughs> axel here of axtruth.com and this is where i cut through the bullshit and as you see in the title <laughs> charlemagne dr drills <laughs> nails i'm sorry charlemagne nails uh pete Buttigieg. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that probably ended up happening. But anyway, um, well, okay. Um, join me tonight for Manic Monday Madness. Uh, uh, it is go time. Jo join me tonight. Uh, I did. A, I had the. Uh, I had a fun time doing a panel on Friday night with um, Coffee Talk with Sandra on D Live, and um, it was very interesting. And I learned something from it. I, you know, one thing about going on different platforms and listening to other people you always learn something you get something out of it i did learn some things there but i also learned some other things uh some people uh, two of the people on the panel actually were awakened but they're not fully awakened yet <laughs> because they're still uh believing some of the things that are <clears throat> that are in the matrix and i had to understand that there i had to realize i realized that when i was there that they were not where I'm at and I have to also understand that a lot of times you know those of us who are out of the matrix we're so far ahead of these people and a lot of these people will not see it until it's just right in their face and it's go time and it's, it's, it's there and a lot of them are still d ditching and dodging and I'm gonna talk about that tonight but anyway let's get into this oh Pete Buttigieg Charlemagne Nails Buttigieg. Okay, well, well, he really nailed, nailed him. I mean, you know, here we got Boule Charlemagne the God, who just, who, uh, let me play this right here so y'all can hear uh, what he said to, um, uh, you know, the, for some reason, the Democratic Party, you know, Democrat with uh, Triple K, and, you know, KKK, they go on uh, the Breakfast Club because that's where the political advice is and political astute blacks are. And if, if Charlemagne and Angela Yee are the political spokespeople of black people, this is, explains everything that I say about these shines, these cotton pickers, these akatas. It, it, it is what it is. If you one of them, that's where you at. <laughs> That's what you are. You are a shine. You are a plantation cotton picker. That's what you are. So deal with it. Don't get mad at me. <laughs> now here, let's listen to uh, what Charlemagne says to to the boot jet, the booty gig. <laughs> After he got in the booty gig, okay. You, you do realize, Pete, uh, a lot of black people feel like Democrats have kept no promises since they've been in since they've been in office. Really? Yes. Which, Reverend Allen said that a million times. I'm sure he'll be I mean, pressing you about okay. that tomorrow. <laughs> uh, look, I get it. <laughs> oh, Lord. It, it was more to that. <laughs> but who cares? <laughs> it was more to that bullshit. <laughs> but who cares? Okay, Charlemagne, you know, the spokesperson to make sure you help, you tell black folks to go back and vote for Democrats. You know, that's all Charlemagne and the Breakfast Club is, is a spoke there. They are uh, another entity of the Democratic Party. Just like when he, you know, a, a month ago or so, Charlemagne said, where's Trump? Shut up, bitch. Shut up, you bitch nigga. <laughs> that's what he is. He's one of these bitch niggas. <laughs> no, fuck niggas. <laughs> But, you know, I'm fuck nigga free. He's he's one of them fuck niggas. That's what we talking about. He one of them. You know, um, all he is is a is is he's so full of shit. Angela Yee, the Breakfast Club, any of these blacks, you know, out here trying to still sell you cotton pickers on the Democratic Party with the three Ks. Okay, they are never keep a promise to you. In my opening, it says when when um Eva says, you know, come on, Joe, we gonna get through this together. And then I come in and say, hey, wait a minute, uh, uh, y'all ain't even in the boat. You ain't. <laughs> You're not in the boat, bitch. <laughs> Everybody's in the boat but you. But they gave you Katanji. <laughs> That's what they gave you. Okay, for your vote, you got Katanji, a pedophile sympathizer, a affirmative action pick, <laughs> witch. <laughs> Who's soft on pedophilia? 
You know, that's what they gave you shines. It's a, a Katanji, and then they gave y'all a slave holiday called, um, whatever that slave holiday is, Juneteenth, and y'all running out like crazy. So, oh, we celebrating, uh, 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 this is our shit. They give y'all black, they give black slave shit. <laughs> Cause guess why? You know why they give y'all slave shit? Cause y'all slaves. <laughs> Cause y'all are slaves. It's nothing wrong with that. Be a slave. But I'm okay with it. I'm not trying to convince none of y'all to stay over there. Keep doing that. <laughs> do what the mammy tell you to do. Because that's what they are. Mammies. That's all black women are on the plantation are mammies. 100% solid gold full stop. Because if they were not mammies. They would not be sitting up here settling for this shit and they would be saying something and they were not going to be saying something. They will be doing something like saying, guess what? We're not voting for your Democrats anymore. That's what the mammies would do. But no, the mammies are looking for position. That's all they over there for position and money. Just like Crimson Cure said, black women are the biggest sellouts of the black community. The Stacey Abrams of the world. The, you know, all the, the Stacey Abrams, what's that other nappy head? Uh, what's that uh, girl from Ohio that they just do wrong? Nina Turner. <laughs> She's still bucking around for her position. <laughs> That's all these black bitches do over there. They looking for position to act like they're doing something, knowing they're not going to do anything that master's not going to allow them to do. They can only do what master tell them to do. And what they give them. And they throw them a little bone. We put a black woman on the Supreme Court. That's what they gave you. Black women's on the Supreme Court. What is that doing for the black community? What is that doing? Is that anywhere near y'all reparations that y'all keep hollering and crying and whining about? And then in that thing that Buttigieg was talking to Charlemagne, he brought up this infrastructure bill. And then Charlemagne, this is this is why I'm going to go back to Charlemagne. He's nothing but a fraud because he's talking about, where's Trump? Nigga, shut up because all you going to do is tell these blacks to go back and vote Democrat. That's what your job is. That's what they pay you to do. That's why you're in the booty club and you're on that show on The Breakfast Club to do just that. You, The booty club members cannot, the bend over club people cannot go outside of that. They got to tell black people, continue to vote Democrat. Not that, you know, oh, you haven't kept none of your promises. They're not going to keep no promises. There is no promises to keep to you shines. And then he going to come out of his mouth and say, they passing laws that are against voter rights that's going to affect black people. What are you talking about, um, Charlemagne? Be specific. How, what voter right law has been passed? And then here come Angela Yee, monkey ass, up in the comments. And they passing laws taking away LGBTQ. They always got to bring in the rainbow. They always got to bring in the rainbow when it comes to these blacks. <laughs> you slaves, they bringing in a whole group of people that don't have nothing to do with you slaves. This is how you know y'all are being played every time and the mammy is responsible. I'm putting this all on them. I ain't putting it nowhere else but to the mammies. So there you go. So he talking about they passing voter rights that's going to affect black people. Where is it? How is black? How are black people being stopped from voting? Charlemagne, quit fucking lying. Voting from who? And voting for who? Oh, to vote Democrat? Just like I said. That proves, as soon as he start talking about voting, he talking about voting Democrat. Blacks, you slaves, you are kata, you shines, are going to vote Democrat. No matter what they do. Book, snook, or crook, you're voting Democrat. So, my point is proven. Y'all a bunch of slaves and the mammy is the problem. And that's why you're going to always be there. Because the mammies are the biggest sellouts. The mammies are looking for position. The mammies are all about themselves. And what kind of what kind of money they can get out of whatever mass are going to throw their way. So they can have the American dream. And fuck the black community. Fuck your black men. Fuck what's going on in the black community. The 
all they do is all they're doing is looking for a chick. Every last one of these black women that's running around here talking about they are for the black community and they trying to do something and they trying to do something with the Democrats and with the liberal agenda. Agenda. They are not for the black community. All they're trying to do is get them some coins and position. That's it. Acts truth. Telling the truth. Once again, signing off. Put your comments below. Share the video. Join me tonight. I'm going to be on all platforms except ScrewTube because I have freedom of speech there. And we're going to talk. Uh, and you're going to hear a good, uh, uh, another blazing Manic Monday Madness tonight. Until then, you guys, be, peace out. Have a great day. Love you all. And be blessed.